Well, hello, I'm Mary Markle, your Lenaway ISD nurse. And I've been asked to talk to you today about these wonderful large blue totes that have been handed out to all our great itinerant staff as well as our uh, classroom staff. And I wanna just kind of walk you through what the contents of the tote are and maybe some tips for how to use the equipment. Let's take a peek in here. And in each tote, we will have uh, a box of single-use face masks for adults. Essentially, what we're doing when we wear these types of masks is we're protecting others, maybe a little bit more than we're protecting ourselves. Wearing a mask like this is considered source control. So what these masks do is uh, trap the larger particles of droplet nuclei that we exhale, and that's a, a big phrase, and basically that just means little tiny uh, water droplets that we exhale that pathogens, including the COVID virus, can hitch a ride on. And use of a face mask will trap those larger particles. So that's why it's so important that we all do our part and wear the masks. Again, single-use masks, um, you wanna pitch it appropriately when you're done. And you might be wondering, well, where is an appropriate place to pitch it? Probably in a wastebasket is fine. Uh, if you do see a red biohazard bag handy, that's even better, but that's not uh, necessary. Also included in the tote would be some single-use masks that are sized for children. And um, these are really nice masks. The box says right on it, three layers of protection. And that is important. And I've been favoring um, cloth masks these days. And the cloth mask I use um, has two layers but there's also a pocket for a filter, which is really nice. So if you are gonna wear a cloth mask, you wanna wear one that has one, more than one layer of fabric. That's just a, a tip I'll pass on. Well, let's continue with our adventure going through the tote. The next thing I wanna show you is one of these nice face shields. A face shield is not designed so much to prevent those little droplet nuclei from coming at us. What they're more intended for would be to protect our eyes. Now, of course, certainly wearing a face shield, you are gonna have a barrier and that will stop some of those droplet nuclei in their tracks, but it's, it's essentially designed to protect the eyes pair of goggles would do the same thing. Um, a really nice and safe way to go about our work would be to wear a mask and a face shield. You're probably wondering, well, how many times can I wear the same face shield? If you use one of our approved wipes to wipe it down at the end of the day, you can probably use it over several days. They do tend to crinkle up. I, I think you'll kind of know when it's, it's run through its lifespan, but I think it's certainly appropriate during normal use to probably wear one of these face shields for a five day week. All right, let's see what's next. Hopscotching back to masks. We do have a nice clear mask in the tote and these are especially important when we want our students to see how we're speaking, see how we are articulating words and we have this type in the tote but we also have a couple of other types available and if you would like to peruse the other types just give me a call or shoot me an email. I'll let you know what my contact information is at the end of this presentation. What else, what else? We have hand sanitizer. And we have one bottle of this nice liquid hand sanitizer. Um, I have 
gazillions, uh, maybe not gazillions, uh, but I have lots and lots of bottles of this. Um, it is one of our approved sanitizers. It doesn't seem to be too tough on the skin. I think it is a nice, a nice product. It's called a antiseptic hand rub. And the large object we have in the tote, this is really nifty. This is um, a screen that's reusable, very handy. And again, this can be wiped down with one of our approved wipes. And I believe our fine facilities director, Tom Casping, is gonna also be doing a video and he'll talk more a little, a little bit more about um, the cleaning materials that have been distributed to all classrooms and programs. Let's see, what else do I have in my bag of tricks? I have some stylus. Yes, I know I'm styling, but that's not what I meant. So these are nice for use on devices where you don't want to use your finger. Um, I would recommend that you wipe it down after each time you use it. And the bag does have a couple of these enclosed. Finally, I've been asked to talk a little bit about gloves. We have cleaning gloves that were uh, distributed with all our nice baskets of cleaning supplies. But it can be confusing because we also have exam gloves. And so I would encourage you to use the cleaning gloves just for cleaning and use the exam gloves for any work you're doing with students or um, other folks where you want to have that layer of protection. I have, uh, the past years, only ordered latex-free gloves. So if you do find any old boxes of latex gloves lying around, feel free to let me know and um, I'll get you uh, a latex-free box or as many boxes as you need. So that's about it for today. Um, we're about a month into the school year. I want to thank all of you for the great job you're doing. I feel that um, we've implemented face-to-face -face learning safely. It's been great to see the look of joy on our students' faces with being able to be back at school. It's just been a beautiful thing. So again, I'm Mary, your district nurse, and my direct office line is 517-265-1689. My cell phone number is 517-581-2568. My ISD email address is mary.markle at lisd.us. Thanks a lot. Here's to a great year.